All right, guys, so I get this one all the time. You're a Christian couple, you're dating, or maybe you're engaged, and you've crossed that boundary. You know, you've had sex, you know that you're not supposed to do that, and you're wondering, well, have I blown it? You know, what am I supposed to do now? A lot of couples will just keep doing that because they feel a sense of shame and they feel like they've already crossed that boundary. So they continue to dishonor God in that particular area. Nobody knows about it. Eventually they get married or they break up or whatever. And you wouldn't have honored God for one thing, but for another thing, um, it really actually wreaks havoc on your future marriage or future relationships. So here's what to do if you're in that situation. Step number one, tell someone. The first step is just to admit it to somebody in your life, a friend, a mentor, a small group leader, a parent, a confidant, just someone that you know can bring this information in, that they're going to respond to it in a godly way. They're going to help keep you accountable to it, but probably they're not going to beat you up for it or excommunicate you. You know, sometimes couples in our church, when we talk to them, talk to them about this, they feel like they're hesitant to even share it with us. And so they never do this first step. And so then they never move forward. You know, Satan wants nothing more than to use your secrets and to keep you in a sense of shame and guilt so that you can still be trapped in in bondage to that particular thing. So unless you talk to someone about it, you're not going to move forward and start honoring God. So that's the first step. All right. The second step then is to just stop doing it. Obviously, you know, if you recognize that this doesn't honor God, hopefully you do recognize it doesn't honor God, then you need to make a fresh commitment to stop doing it. No matter what happened in the past, don't let that determine what you're going to do in the future. Make a fresh commitment. I'm not, we're not going to do this anymore. Guys, you have to look your girlfriend in the eye and say, listen, I need you to be on board with me on this because one of you can't make the commitment. Both of you have to make a fresh commitment. This doesn't honor God. Hopefully you're both followers of Jesus. You need to say, this doesn't honor God. We're going to stop doing this. And with God's help, you can successfully stop putting yourself in those situations. And then that leads to the third thing, and that's just to draw better boundaries. You know, making a one-time decision to stop having sex before marriage is wonderful. That's a great starting point. But really, if you don't draw boundaries in your life that keep you from getting to that place once again you're going to just fall right back into it. You know, I've seen that so many times with so many couples that they say, hey, we don't want to do this anymore, but they don't set up any actual practical boundaries. And so they just keep crossing that line over and over and over again. Guys, if you really want to have success in this area, you got to bite the bullet, draw some boundaries, talk to your small group about it, talk to a mentor about it, talk to someone who can be a little bit more objective than you are and say, what boundaries do you think we should set up? You know, maybe at a certain time at 10 o'clock, you're, you're out of the house. You know, maybe another boundary is you don't watch a movie without other people in the room. You know, you don't watch a movie with the lights off, you know, or whatever. You're not cuddling on the couch together. Whatever those, whatever those situations you find yourself in where you're crossing that line, obviously, I mean, when you're older, you'll understand that this is so true, but obviously eliminate those temptations and probably you'll end up eliminating that ultimate act. So if you want to honor God, start drawing better boundaries in your life and be honest about it and then stick to those boundaries. Listen, if you've crossed the line in your dating relationship or in your engagement relationship, you've had sex, don't let the enemy use that in your life to get you to continue to do the same thing. You can have a fresh start in this particular area of your life and you can start honoring God all over again. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to check out some of the other topics that we have at our website or on this particular YouTube channel. In fact, if you want to subscribe to this channel for all the new content as it comes out, I encourage you to do that. Also, don't forget to like the video. We'll see you in the next one.